$69.99. One happy chap down there already, see? <laughs> Hello and welcome to Niagara Falls here in Canada and on today's video I'm going to be telling you exactly what is open right now in Niagara Falls even though we're currently under a red zone, uh, whatever that is, a uh, red zone area is issued by the government of Ontario but I'm going to tell you exactly what is open and I think you're going to be surprised what is actually open and what still isn't. So join me on today's video because that's exactly what we're going to do is find out what's open here in Niagara Falls. All right, if you're by any chance watching this in the future on YouTube or whatever channel it might be by then, let's say 2055, uh, today is the 20th of March, 2021, it is the first day of spring, and uh, we're in the, midst, the middle of a global pandemic of COVID-19, which started nearly two years ago, um, hence the name COVID-19. Uh, but anyway, we're down here today to find out what is open, what is going on, how busy it is, and uh, how life is getting back to normal. So uh, let's go. We're going to make our way around this area and find out what is exactly going on and what is open. Well, for one, this parking lot is open. Definitely open. Taking lots of money. 28 bucks daily. Wait, bargain. $10 an hour. But it's open. This WeGo bus is running and it's open. Just like this door. Open. And this waterfall. It's open. And all these faces. Totally open. His mouth's wide open. Alright, uh, by the way, this is uh, Table Rock, where I am right now. Uh, as of right now, most of it is closed. They do have the door open so you can use the facilities inside and get across to the parking lot. Uh, but they are in the midst of uh, preparing to open Journey Behind the Falls, uh, Table Rock Shop and a couple of other things. And they're expected to open in two weeks time, ready for Easter. Uh, so they're, in, they're preparing to do it right now. Uh, so yeah, we're just trying to welcome all the tourists back, which is kind of nice. I mean. You can't stop them, you may as well entertain them, right? You've always got to point the camera at the dog, always. Now that's a nice backdrop behind me. <laughs> uh, the US Falls, right there. All right, uh, we've walked a bit further down from Table Rock now. I'm gonna show you something that's open, which is uh, quite surprising to me. But before I show you what is actually open right now, I just wanna remind you of something. So as we walk down there, I'm gonna put up this uh, information, which is on the uh, Niagara Falls Tourism website. It's also on Niagara Parks website. So I'm gonna put that up as we walk down here.
All right, check this out. This is apparently essential travel. <laughs> I kid you not. A zip lining is open at a time of essential travel. Unfreaking believable. Once again, the massive hypocrisy of our Canadian and Ontario government, especially, and the Ontario agencies uh, that allow this to happen. So many businesses are struggling right now. Businesses, livelihoods are at stake, but yet silly things like this have now been randomly just been allowed to open, yet they still have advisories out telling people not to do certain things. Very confusing. I think I just saw on the uh, screen in there, you want a zip line, $69.99, <laughs> $70, for 30 seconds of fun. No, thanks. All right, what is nice to see uh, down here at Niagara Falls is uh, a lot of people really enjoying the beautiful weather. It's uh, probably, the, probably the nicest day of the year we've had so far. So it's nice for everyone to get out, walk around. And you know what, I got to the point now, I don't begrudge anyone that comes out and comes down here. Uh, if the government continuously wants to contradict itself and make stupid, up rule, make stupid rules up, then you know what, we can't blame any of these people for coming down here. But what we could do is try and keep reminding them, just try and be safe. Uh, when you're out and about, just stick one of them on when you're next to people, especially walking through the big crowds. Not open, by the way, not open. <laughs> Check out the world famous Clifton Hill on this beautiful spring day. Haunted house is open. Maze of mirrors, open. Dracula's Haunted Castle. Open. Crystal Caves. Open. Uh, Rippers across the road is still closed. Frankenstein. Open. All right, as you can see, uh, Kelsey's is still closed. Uh, the Sky Wheel's closed along with the speedway. So a lot of things are still closed around here. Uh, some of the restaurants are open, but not all of them. Uh, but if you're gonna come down and you are hungry, there's other places in Niagara Falls you can check out, you know, not just everything here on the main strip. If you go up the road, I'm gonna take you up there in a, very, in a couple of seconds when I get my ride. Uh, but if you go up to Lundy's Lane, there's plenty of restaurants up on Lundy's Lane as well, which is literally from where I am right here. It's like a 10 minute walk. Uh, or you can take the WeGo bus, it'll take you up there. But there's plenty of restaurants up there, all different types like a two or three kilometer stretch of road there and just pick something which is not right in the tourist trap. <laughs> One happy chap down here already, see? As you drive up uh, Lundy's Lane, there's a lot of restaurants up here. Also some uh, non-big brand name ones. Of course, you've got your Harvey's, your Arby's, Wendy's, uh, KFC and things like that. It's also a little cheaper up here to eat as well. But there's also some good restaurants up here. Uh, wind, uh, for one. <laughs> Great place, I like Wind. <laughs> uh, for sushi and stuff like that. But there's loads of... Uh, uh, local restaurants along Lundy's Lane. As you drive up here, it's well worth coming up this way. Support the local economy down here. Don't put all your money in the tourist area down there in Niagara Falls and the main part. There's a lot to see and do as you go further out of the main waterfall area. So check out Lundy's Lane for one and all the surrounding areas. And you know what? You'll save yourself a bit of money and get a nice bit of food too.